Late last week, conservatives of course were up in arms once again over the wokeness of popular culture here in the United States. You had Republican Senator Ted Cruz out there warning the United States of America that the Barbie movie was somehow pro China propaganda. You had conservative talker, uh, Ben Shapiro talk about how the film mentions patriarchy a dozen, dozen or more times, two dozen times, whatever he said it was, but conservatives either way, all across the board, not just Cruz and Shapiro, but they were effectively wetting themselves out of fear of the Barbie movie, trying to, you know, start this fight, cause conservatives to rise up and not go give Barbie their money over this past weekend. That didn't work out the way that any of them thought at all. Barbie based on numbers that of course have now come in from over this past weekend is now the highest grossing premiere of any movie this year. In fact, it is one of the highest grossing weekend premieres that was not a sequel, a reboot or a superhero movie in modern times. It shattered all records. Director Greta Gerwig had now as a female director has the largest opening weekend ever for a female director. The movie grossed $155 million in the U S alone. It, uh, it crossed the $377 million mark globally. Barbie was a hit. The second biggest hit of the weekend. Oppenheimer made $80 million in the U S. So Barbie almost doubled Oppenheimer in spite of the warnings of these idiot conservatives. They wanted a boycott of Barbie and it didn't happen. Hell, even Ben Shapiro went to go see Barbie. He swears, however, you know, that his producers, you know, made him go watch it. Then he put out a video on it and got well over a million views in a matter of days. So he made thousands and thousands of dollars off that video. He's also <laughs> posted a thing of himself setting fire to Barbie dolls that he obviously had to, you know, use money to buy. So they already got your money. You can burn their products if you want. They got your money, bud. But here's the thing. Republicans always have to have something to freak out about. And they love nothing more than freaking out about movies that depict strong women. And that's kind of the message that Barbie is sending out there. And this isn't the first female led movie that conservatives have gone out there and had a hissy fit over. They did it over the 2016 Ghostbusters remake with an all female cast. They did it over Captain Marvel because, oh no, a strong woman. We don't like that. And they did it with the little mermaid earlier this year. Like, oh yes, it's a woman, but it's a black woman. Oh no. Now we gotta be even more mad. They have to have something to freak out over because that's the only way they can keep their supporters in line by telling them there's these big, bad things out there. You know, uh, yeah, we suck on the economy. We're really bad on the environment. We don't know how to govern it all, but none of that matters because you have to be afraid of these liberals in Hollywood pushing their feminist agenda down your throat. And there is enough stupid people in this country who see that crap and they're like, yeah, you're right. It doesn't matter that I can't pay my bills. It doesn't matter that I can't afford my prescriptions. It doesn't matter that I haven't been to the dentist since the Bush administration. What's really important is the Barbie doll movie makes me feel like a weak little man. And so I'm going to go watch Ben Shapiro destroy it for 40 plus minutes. I'm going to listen to Ted Cruz that it's Chinese propaganda. These people are ignoring the real problems in their lives because conservatives want them to ignore the real problems in their lives. Because if they ever took a step back, stepped out of the culture war, nonsensical BS that Republicans push, these very same people would start to realize, wait a minute, these folks are whining about Barbie when I can't afford my diabetes medication. Why should I be concerned about Margot Robbie when I can't even afford to put food on my table? Conservatives don't want people thinking about that because the second they start thinking about it, they realize that for decades now, conservatives have done absolutely nothing to help anyone other than their wealthy donors. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, 
you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.